As an owner of a commercial property or a business type property, certainly how people get to your property or get in and out of your property is, is very critical to the use of the property and, and it does actually in, impact the value of the property. For example, let's say you have a convenience store, you're on a corner and you have a driveway on each road on that corner and the DOT comes along and closes one of those driveways. Well, our position for you as a property owner, as a business owner would be, look, I had a convenience store in a good location with an access point on each road on the corner, and now you're limiting me to one access point. We would certainly argue in that case that that has affected the value of your property. Your property is just not as convenient uh, for a convenience store as it once was because of the closing of an access point. And we've had many cases, I have cases now where the DOT will say, we don't think that makes any difference. You still have one access point. So that is something we have to fight with on a regular basis, on a consistent basis. Another issue oftentimes is how people actually get uh, to your property. Uh, you know, sometimes DOT will, will reroute streets, reroute roads, dead end roads. Uh, they will make another way in the traffic system and the road system to get to your property. For example, a service road, let's say, now you have direct access from a road or from a street and the DOT is gonna close that or, 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 or reroute that in some way that means you will not have as much direct access uh, to your property. People will have to now travel maybe half a mile to get to your business or to your commercial property where before they could turn right off a, a busy road and right on to your property. Well, the law is a little bit uh, against uh, property owners on, those, on that issue. We call that circuity of travel. Uh, as long as you still have a way to get to your property, and even if it takes longer and it's more difficult to get to it, the law would say that the DOT doesn't have to pay for that. But there are ways to argue those issues more in your favor. We want to emphasize, we want to focus on those things and maximize those issues that you can get compensated for and minimize those issues in the law that you can't get compensated for. And that's where having an experienced eminent domain attorney can really make the big difference uh, in helping you maximize what you recover from your case. And so we ask that you call us, we're glad to talk to you. What we often do is, uh, if you want to and you're interested, we can certainly meet you at your office, meet you at your property. Feel free to call us for your free consultation and we can go from there.